Welcome to the first episode of Coffee and Audio Talk. This is a new series where I share my thoughts about all things audiophile and coffee. In this first episode, I want to talk about listening to music, so let's talk. Many times when I tell people that I like to listen to music, they act like they understand. Many times they will say, me too. But most of the time they mean they like to play music while doing other things, you know, like a side activity. But that is not what I'm talking about. I listen to music and that is the activity. And that is something not many people do, at least not the people that I know. For me, listening to music is the hobby. And of course, as an audiophile, I like all the equipment and I like all the gadgets. But the end goal is to listen to the music. Sometimes I read comments from non-audiophiles about actual audiophiles that will say something like they only listen to what their equipment sounds like or they don't listen to the music and sometimes they will even say we don't like music. We will only listen to that perfect demo CD that only contains horrible music. So let's talk about that. As an audiophile I pay a lot of attention to my system. I believe that every part of my system is worth paying attention to. From the obvious, like choosing a loudspeaker, to the more obscure things like should you lift your cables from the floor or not. Now pay attention you keyboard warriors, I'm not saying everything does matter, I say it is worth investigating everything because there are so many variables in a whole system setup that I think it is a shame not to do so. There was one comment on my rant video that stated yes cables matter but something like an IKEA table does nothing whatsoever. I think dogmatic statements like that will prevent you from getting the best out of your setup. But that's just my opinion. Now let's go back to audiophiles don't listen to music. For me there's two ways as an audiophile that I listen to music. One is technical and one is for pleasure. Technical listening for me means listening to how my system sounds. This is when I'm tweaking my system. All the other times I just listen to music because of the music. And yes, a lot of demo CDs are horrible. But unfortunately it is also true that a lot of popular music is recorded horrible. So here is my ritual for listening to music. Because I think you should really take your time and create your own little listening spot so you can give the music all the attention it deserves. You all know my system of course, and if you don't, make sure to check out my system tour video. This is my listening spot. This is a very comfortable couch and all that is needed are two cushions, a poof to really make it easier on myself, the iPad for streaming music and a little side table and of course you need some coffee. Today I'm making an espresso from a Guatemalan bean. This bean is low in acidity and has a lot of body. I don't like acidity so much in my espresso. And this is of course on my wonderful rocket machine. You can see it's still quite fresh beans with a lot of crema. So here's my coffee and the last part is the remote for the CD player. And after all these preparations I can finally start listening to my music and stop worrying about all the things that are bothering me. Like all the skeptics who still think that all cables and amplifiers sound the same. Or even worse, that power is just power and bits are just bits. But listening to my system, I know they are wrong. I just dim the lights and enjoy my system. And I see you at episode 2 and I hope I have inspired you to think about the way that you are listening to your system. Enjoy. Enjoy.